that that so many people called would like to see both bars, Stadiums Limited, Mr. Dick Green, gave us permission for this night only to telecast both of the main events at Festival Hall. Uh, starting next Saturday night, however, there will be only one bout, and there will be a flip of the coin to decide which bout will be televised just before the start of the first main event. All right, Jeff. There you go. Um, Eric, Jack, I think another very uh, interesting thing for our lady friends who may be watching. If you'd like to come along and see the bout here at the Festival Hall next uh, Saturday evening, and there should be another top-line program organized for you. If you'd like to write to us at Channel 9, we will be distributing 100 double tickets, 100 double tickets to the listing. That'll entitle three ladies to come. So we'll tell you more about the address later on, ladies, but I feel sure you'll really enjoy it. And if you write to us, uh, those tickets will be for you. There's the bill for the start of the first round. Well, the boys are flying out in the center of the ring like a couple of bastards at the moment. They have a lot of respect for one another. They're very evenly matched. They're very evenly matched indeed. On top of this row, the Duke champion. And the man that I jumped in Joe Savoli. Up here, the famous jump in Joe Savoli of the mid-1930s. Now, real action at the moment, as you can see on your screen. We'll tell you a little more, a little later on, about how you, the ladies, the first hundred of you, will be able to do the best to study the summer of the next Saturday night. Joe has asked him for the fans to get rid of him. He's a very, very hard wrestler, but he's a gentleman. They don't believe him. There's an arm bar now, leg wraps, and John Coppola is out of the canvas. He's bending that leg over, the, over his knee as the first one's right now. Now there's that old, beautiful leg slip there. He's got one foot on one leg, and he's got the other one in the leg lock. And he tries to pull him apart. Never saw Angela Joseph over there, got a leg up in the air, and puts the pressure against the knee with his shoulder bending the ankle uh, back so that the pressure is at the back of the knee. He's really twisting that toe now. I pushed it off, Rafael. I pushed it off. He's got the other leg now to get more pressure on the twist of his leg. But now the Greek may pull him out. He's got the foot up in the air, and he's got to go off balance. Using the left from the quad move. The Greek's got a chance to break out of this by getting to go to off balance. He's going to go in there, but he grabbed the leg. Getting to the other off balance again. Grabs the ropes again and puts the pressure on that car. That's illegal in the fans' doing. He's really twisting on that ankle. The majority of the pressure is right at the with a wrist lock, and he's got his foot up in the midsection. This could be the breakaway, and it is, right into the cross buckle of the rope. But Cavoli's on, the, on him quick, and that ankle and that knee are weakened, and he comes back again with a great line step over to Now he's getting down into a sitting position. Carl is countering with the chin lock, but there's been a lot of pressure on that leg. It's weakened considerably, and he's putting the pressure on that reverse toe lock now. Again, Khan counters with a chin lock, as you can see. Now, both in the next section. Now, both in the next section. That's perfectly legitimate. Now, 
So get on your time, get rid of him by pounding him on the eyes, and that's just what he did. There's that premium pocket, the headbutt again. Bombs away! And a rabbit punch, another rabbit punch, another rabbit punch. He's grabbing a bad waist leg again, but they're immediately above us, if he can pick him up, yes. I think you better get back, yes, because believe me, we're beginning to get a bit of a shower of personal life. Come here, come here, come here. Going around with those rather punches for back of the leg, but he jumps in the face of all these exhausted ones over there. He can't take any more than he is. Yes, I think this, this boy can take a lot. He's trying to get his opponent offside. He doesn't like it very well, but he's a tough customer. He's right. Here he goes. That was right, Jeff. This boy can take a lot of punishment. There he goes, there's a cranium cracker again, and Cavalli boxes on the... He's going to need a lot of headaches, though. He says, oh, let's, let's stop that. Let's be little gentlemen. Ha, 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 ha. to shake hands, and the group says, no shaking hands. Let's go, boy, let's go. There's a cranium cracker again, and another one. There's head... Ha, 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 ha. He says, oh, he does one on the referee. And he cracks the ball in the back of the neck. He comes up, bombs away, and he lifts to the chin. And that was a lot of action. And now Bonnie Miller is warning him, you'll crack me a good little cranium cracker, and I'll just qualify you. And that is the end of round four. Well, in that round, that fourth round, Joseph Aldi jumping, Joseph Aldi certainly took plenty of punishment. But over in the referee's corner, he was a very tired and sorry boy. However, as Jack forecast, he was possibly trying to get uh, Tom Tapalazzaro off, uh, off guard. And uh, Stacey, he chased him across him. Now, here's Joe coming across to have a chat with Bonnie Muir. Let's see if we can catch something on it. Now, it's a little, it's a little hard to... Uh, to pick up there, Jack, but he's trying to just do something. Well, he's trying to, trying to uh, play a burning meal, but uh, the Greek doesn't understand English, and you give it to him with a hand signal, that ain't. <laughs> he doesn't like those headbutts, and I don't blame him. Yes, I certainly do. Uh, pretty inspired. Uh, you must have a pretty solid education. I think, Jeff, we can tell uh, the lady uh, listeners uh, listening tonight, if they were right, wrestling. GDB Channel 9 saying that they enjoyed tonight's telecast, the first hundred letters received will receive two seats for two ladies to attend next Saturday night wrestling match at Festival Hall in Melbourne. Just address your letters to wrestling. You do the Channel 9, then address to the the first hundred letters will receive two seats for two ladies to next week's wrestling card at Festival Hall. And believe me, if there's anything like the excitement that we're seeing in this first start here tonight, it'll be really worth coming because this is this is really exciting wrestling, and uh, I think the two boys are both still pretty evenly matched. Bonnie Muir's in it now, though. He certainly is, and he's wanting to be great champion to break when he tells him to and the crowd are booing the referee. <laughs> well, that's what makes wrestling. The Greek citizen, they don't like it very well. So yes, said, no, and the Greek is on the prowl. A lot, of, a lot of heat is engendered here. Listen to the crowd. Oh, you, you, you wouldn't hit him, though. We know that, Jim. They said uh, the Greeks is the one that hit him, and now he comes in with a full over and under front headlock on the Greek champion. It's a semi-strangle, and Bonnie Muir is trying to see if it's a strangle. Not a strangle as yet, but this time he hits Bonnie Muir on the back of the neck, and he warns the Greeks again. It was Sabaldi that time. Oh, ho, ho, the Greek citizens here are roaring at the referee. They could be thrown into the swing at any moment. And now the Greek is turning in fact, an elbow smash, another elbow smash. He's throwing it on. And over on the headlock, Jeff and Joe is jumping. 
Players have not taken the almost came to the rope. And then oh, he's really torn it off. A first three ball. Joe is coming up there. Come on, let's kill him. He's just he's pulling him over the ropes right into Jeff Park's lap. And there he goes. The big champion is right down here below us now. The big is being pulled up to his feet. There he goes up into the lane. He's going after Savoli. Here we go. Bam. Pow. Wow. Here we go. And Savoli is outside the lane. The way Jumpy Joe's holding his head, I think he might have bumped him on a little bit of timber work on the way out. Well, they did. Here he comes. Savoli's coming back into the ring now. And the group is waiting for him. He's trying to get him inside the ring. There's the premium tackle with Joe still outside the ring. Bonnie Muir is trying to pull the group back to the center of the ring to let Savoli come in. But you can see the action there as well as he can. And Bonnie Muir is telling the group, but the group doesn't understand him. He goes out. There's another premium tackle. There he goes again. The Bowdy is a very bad citizen, but he's not badly hurt. Watch out, anything can happen. A tied headlock now by the great champion. Tied headlock. Look at this. This is a very unusual hold. He gets the side headlock, drips underneath his, most of the portion of his leg, and does a, a drop right down at a headbreaker. Watch this hold again. He bangs his head right down into the top of his knee. It's a very unusual hold. Wow. God's going wild. They like this kind of wrestling. Goldie's walking around the ring. And I know Savoldi of old. He's just like his uncle. He's putting it on. He's ready to, to do the good something. We can get him off balance. Into the arm and neck hold. Into the arm and neck hold. There he goes, and Savoldi is on top. He's on top now. The moment he's on top. He's wrapped around him like a blanket and using a long arm bar, a reverse arm bar, and using his knee as a fulcrum press to bend that arm back over. He's using a figure four lock right at the shoulder blade. Going it on now. You can see the hole from your vantage point at home with our camera position better than we can describe it for you. Now when the crowd is real quiet, that's when the Greek is on the bottom. And then when they're real loud, that's when the Greek is doing the best. Because the Greek champion is very popular in Melbourne. And I didn't like that when Savoldi wrapped him up and that knee drop down there didn't do the Greek much good. But he's a very tough customer indeed. These boys are very, very evenly matched indeed. Only two times the difference in their weight. Very evenly matched in wrestling skills. No fall as yet, and this is round five of the first main event at Festival Hall in Melbourne. There's a, there's a knee lift to the chin that got him on the head, and that head for a cranium tackle. Those headbutts are not liked very much by Joseph Aldo. He cracked him on the cauliflower here, but Joe comes in with his very hairy hold, but the Greek spins him around. Very hot down here, there's a leg drop by the Greek, but the Goldie counters, and he gets the Greek wrapped in there with a rolling headlock, rolls him over to the canvas. Greek comes up with a knee lift to the head, and he, <laughs> and the Goldie said, I know I'm going to need a whole suitcase full of those headaches here. Goes to the way, but this isn't a, a very, very good hold at the moment. So it's in this first place. Now he's got a good position. Notice the knee, uh, his knee at the top and top, but Tan is getting his leg through. He's got to get the pressure off, and now he's applying a leg lock on Savoldi. This is one of those things that anybody hold. There's the bell. But Savoldi doesn't break cleanly. He's kicking the Greek, and the Greek doesn't like it. But Bonnie Moore comes in between them and listen to the crowd at the end of round five. Back at first of all, Hall, John Big Joseph Aldi getting rubbed down in his corner by the second. The Greek boy, the driver first. I think uh, now Joe's going to have a talk to some of the audience. 
some of the ladies in the audience. And they don't like him one little bit. Why don't you tell the people to sit down and let him laugh? You hear what Joe said? The Tom Carpenter George just came over and answered him with a crack to the side of the head. Sit out of the way. Let's go. Let's have some answers. You heard what Joe said. Well, he said, why don't you tell I don't know what he did. Ha, 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 ha. We couldn't very well tell this audience here yeah, and he's welcome to what to do. But the only is very hot under the car. Listen to the crowd. And his most unpopular, particularly with the female population here, they have the all for the Greek boy Tom Tabalazaro. He said, ring that bell in there, ring that bell in there. Ring it up there, ring it up. Joe wants to get going, he wants us to ring the bell. Joe, I'm not running the bell tonight. Good morning, Becca. And there's the bell. Joe will be happy. Off he goes and here's Jack Little. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, he was, he's not quite as ready for action as he was a moment ago. He would love to get some flying shoulder butts in against the Greek wrestler and then get him dragging and come up with some uh, double drop kick. Joe has a, a terrific submission of that. The Cole Nelson that he didn't hold it jumping, Joe jumped right out of it. He got another cranium packer and Travoli doesn't like it. He goes for a leg lock and down goes the Greek, but he's really squirming and he can't hold the hold. This man is really moving. And Travoli can't hold on to it. Ha, ha, ha. Like a couple of big pigs in there. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, brother. The big man will hide on the wooden feet there, and he's coming in. He's on the plow. Watch out, Travoli. Believe you me, the perspiration is really flowing, and they literally can't hold on to one another. Because uh, they're like a couple of Greek pigs in a ring in there. That Greek boy was certainly wriggling I certainly don't mean that as an insulting remark. Just a figure of speech. Oh, says the world. Oh. That is the reverse Japanese, standing Japanese this one. I like what sends him to the canvas. And Savoldi has been taken the risk of this spot. There have been no falls in this spot, but I would say... Well, for punishment's sake, Savoli has certainly taken the risk of it tonight in this ring, although they're so evenly matched, there has not been a fall, and this is the sixth and final round of the first ten of them at Festival Hall. Well, you can see, actually, the hole being applied over there better than I can from my vantage point as the camera shooting down on the shot. Oh, there's a big hole. Look at those knee drop uh, arm breakers, we call those. They say knee drop under the muscular portion of the arm. The Joe doesn't like that. The Tom Buffalo Joe is not going to let loose if he can help it. The way he rolls him over, however, but this is a wild scramble of legs and arms. Who's on top and who's on the bottom? There they are. He starts to a tight headlock. The world counters with a head scissors. But again, the perspiration is showing so clearly out there, it's hard to hold on to a head scissors or a, a, a side headlock, as a matter of fact. They can jump out of the phase, and these birds are very fast for their weight. Instead of uh, dodging around the mouth, I suppose, but Bonnie Neal didn't see it. He's just trying to get his position. And there they are. He kicks the rolling off with these two feet right up to the chin. Watch out for that cranium cracker. The ball is countering with a chin lock and rubs his fingers across the eye. Bonnie Neal warns the ball. Bonnie warns the ball on the dodging of the eyes. The crowd is, I would say, 99 out of 100 are all for the big champion tonight. They got the hairless head lock by Cavoli and a punch to the kidneys. He said it was the open hand, but it was a punch stick, believe me. There we go again in this time. The great kids are going back. <laughs> Cavoli pretending the back is probably the worst form of any of the two. Oh, uh, now he's pouring him in and those get some damage. These boys are very evenly matched. There's the Boldy now, and the Greek has his head right underneath the chin, has him over the rope, bombs away with that knee. Wow! 
Well, that was illegal, and bombs away, and it's up to the, right to the chest. The Bailey got out of the way, and the Greek hit on the back of his lap on the end of the ring. The Bailey's waiting for him, and they're pouring it off. It's not almost over and over and under rolling headlock, and the Greek hits the canvas with the Bailey. A, a knee lift to the head, and that head has taken a lot of punishment at the hands of the Greek tonight. The Bailey by switching away. A bear hunt by Savoldi. And there goes Don getting a hold of those ears and a cranium clapper, a headbutt again. Savoldi holding on to his ear. Another cranium clapper. A headache curl for Savoldi tonight. Ho, ho, ho. There they go, another cranium clapper for Savoldi. There's another one. Savoldi is really groggy. He doesn't know whether he's after or not. There's a beautiful drop kick by Savoldi and the Greek hits the canvas. He always has that little ounce left. To anybody, there's still not a fall. There goes that knee to the head. And that's the pattern of drop kick to the chin. If Savoldi's almost got him, but the Greek has still got that energy left. There goes that knee lift up to the head and those headache pills. Wow, he's going to need a barrel of them. He was taking a beating tonight on that head. Time is running out, and the boys are making it. They know that there's not much time left. The Greek rolls out on the apron of the ring. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There is the bell. It seems that the Corolla in the first main event of the double main event of Festival Hall in Melbourne. Barney Neal raises both wrestlers' hands. It is a draw, and Savoldi shakes hands, and that's all there is to listen anymore. And there goes Savoldi. I knew he had to get in one last lick, and now Barney Neal says, break it up. The bout is over. And that, ladies and gentlemen, winds up the first main event here at Festival Hall. The crowd still bowing. The boys are still in there mixing it up, but We'll be back in just a few moments with the second part of our double main event.